Houston opened the scoring on Saturday night from an attacking scrum at the five metre line. Five, and the thing is, Dallin, when you get the pressure on the scrum, it's going to keep these flankers bound down, and that's going to open things up on this outside. It certainly will. Plenty of talent the backside. White Windsor's on the right inside. Oh, they need him. Pangolina on the left and push off a scrum. They get a penalty try underneath the stick. Six minutes gone. This should be seven points. The Sabre Cats have struck first here at Infinity Park. Two scrums have just blew this Glendale pack backwards. And referee Elgin Williams, no hesitation awarding that penalty try. And of course, on a penalty try, there's no conversions. Automatically counted for a 7 nothing Sabre Cats lead. Seven minutes later, Houston did it again. Competitive at all set pieces, and here come Houston again. They've crumbled the scrum. It's try number two. Okay. What an outstanding scrum again by Houston, and again that is going to fire a team up. The backs all come in. Look at the drive. After a couple of penalty kicks, the Saber Cats run their third straight try. Kalenasal flings it across. Good hands. Pangolin. Pangolin in open space. Oh, is that on the outside? It's glory times here for the Houston Saber Cats. Malachi Esdale is in for five. I mean, this has been an explosive performance. Good hands right there by the big man. And then the nice little pine pass by Zach Pangolina to Esdale finishes it off. Houston got their bonus point with eight minutes to go in the first 40. Good angle there by Dahl, but then they read it. So the Archibald gets taken down to the ground. Count is fine. Big rock by Magno. Diego Magno has turned it around. Kelly Kohlberg, Spike. He's in the corner, what a dive! Don't try that at home, Kelly Kolbig's in the corner! Diego Magno again, you gotta credit him for this try. Watch your, keep your eye on number four, this ball squares free. And he goes right yeah, straight through. All good. And then you hear the referee just now looking at that replay on the big screen, said we're good. And Kelly Kolberg, the veteran, and it's a shell shock crowd okay. here at Infinity Park. Trading 32-0. The Raptors began the comeback with a strong effort from John Ryberg. London, a bit of space here for Goff, and now it's Muscles Ryberg on the outside. Johnny Beefcake! Ryberg gets a couple of fans! Ryberg! Johnny Ryberg! He doesn't have a photo of a loved one in his wallet, it's a photo of the gym! He's in again! Your top try scorer in Major League Rugby is now that man in picture! The Muscles, the Beefcake, the Ryberg. What a great individual effort it was by Ryberg once he got ball in hand. I thought Garber had him. I thought Pangolina had him. Here's Pangolina, I think, with the first attempt. It goes right around him. Then I thought for sure Garber was going to get him. The sure-handed flanker could not bring him down. Kalinasau couldn't bring him down either. And Johnny Ryberg scores at number seven, I think, in the MLR. Glendale narrowed the deficit right off of the halftime siren. London's on his feet and gets the penalty. Holding on. Yeah, good one-man effort by Chad London there. Go 10, advantage, not 10. And not 10 is Diego Magno as Davies took Thank it quickly. You. Dahl in open space, That's London now. Goff yet again. Goff in open space, Goff with the dummy. Hurdles That's over the top. Over. He's inside the 22. Houston were just on the other side and now it's Glendale. For feeder. he's fresh from the Sinbin. But he's isolated as Garber gets over this one. Ball's available. Still there for the Raptors. Ryberg takes on Spike Kohlberg. Ryberg still going. Johnny Ryberg! Was he held? No, he wasn't. He's over. Not held. Nobody can stop the man that bench presses every single minute of every single day. Okay, okay number four, not ten. Oh, look at that. Not ten. Number it's four. A, it's a yellow card. He just pulled a yellow card. Number four, not ten. Diego Magno is going to go to the bin. So now things are coming up roses for the Glendale Raptors. But there wasn't a whole lot here. John Ryberg goes up, goes down. He wasn't held in that tackle by Kelly Kohlberg. Then he goes yeah. right through three more Sabercats for yet another try. Dots it down right on that line. The Raptors open the second half on fire. Flick back in. Davies goes spiral ball to Davidson. Davidson stutters, loses his footing, still going. Davidson still has the offload. Taramai upfield, here he goes. First game, pin it all! The hard man is in! And that's an early birthday present for his wife, Katie Dahl. Sean Davies did a great play here. 
just trying to probe, and then Harley Davidson did well, staying on his feet too. Again, probe and trying to find a little bit of seam in this very stubborn Sabercast defense. And then it was the new man. Beautiful pass, beautiful weighted pass to Peter Dahl. And Peter Dahl, the veteran, scores the try. Only three minutes elapsed before Glenel notched their bonus point. Set! Pangolina not there anymore. So the talented fullback. And I think Kohlberg's out as well. That's right. A couple of changes there, and Taramai gets the offload beautifully. Dodgeball! Fullback slips there as Kalinasar gets cleaned out. Luke White on the charge! Luke White! You've never seen somebody run this fast in your life with that size! Gets the pass away! It's Champagne Rugby! Rugby Pizza is in! Get the glasses! Let's pop another bottle! This conversion's just gonna make it a, a four-point ball game. And Sean Davies, how good is he? And Robbie Petzer, he's been kind of the unsung hero of this Glendale Raptors team. Houston was next on the board in minute 54. Clean ball for the Toad. There's Windsor. He's gonna bash it up with the big boys. Murphy turns it back on the inside. Beautiful ball, wonderful footwork and step back. Dion, Mike Sal! That is magic! Mike Sal had no right to score that try, and he's dazzled here at Infinity Park. And what a spark it was. How about that inside pass from the Toad back into 23? Little dummy out wide. Mike Sal communicated with it perfectly. Step two, Glendale Raptors. And then it was just a run to the line for Dion Mike Sal. The Raptors' next try came from a well-designed line-out play. Well, you don't get into Super Rugby squad for nothing, and Melon Al Jaburi down the short side. Al Jaburi like he did last week! He scores on the first touch! Watch out for this young man! Al Jaburi spikes it in! Let's take another look at this. First step, good line-out take. Al Jaburi, just a little set on the weak side. He's got the outside with Zach Finolio. And you saw his opposite go with him. Did Pat O'Toole, that opened up that little lane for El Jabour, and we saw him last week carry three Nola goal players over the line, and he did just about the same. Yeah. But good heads up play by El Jabouri. 37-36, set down by one. This will put him up. Has it got the legs? Yes, it has! 38-37! Miraculous stuff from the Glendale Raptors. And it's El Jabouri, the man with seven siblings knows how to party. Behind for the first time in the match, Houston responded almost immediately. Advantage. Another penalty Angle. advantage here for the Sabercats. Windsor kicks it over the top himself. The chip and chase. It sets up for oh! Windsor. He's got that! A star is born. He's as creative as Lady Gaga. And they call him Sam Windsor. And a good heads up play. Look, he saw nobody back. Perfectly kicked. Taikato Simpson did well to cover, I just couldn't that. bring it down. That little pop back up <laughs> went right into Windsor's hands. Christmas comes early for Sam Windsor. Ryback on to back by dotting down for his hat trick. Glendale need to get on the scoreboard next. Peter Dahl gets hit high by Jamie Diva. And now Malifa strikes. Atta Malifa, delayed ball to Taramai. Murphy Taramai, Kalenisau, but the ball is inside. It's Johnny Ryberg. He's as scary as Lyme disease. Ryberg, a record scorer. And it's what a comeback. He scored the first two to get his side into this, and another. Murphy Taramai again with a nice little pass. And Adam Alifa, he always adds a spark when he comes in. There's Taramai. Good collision right here. Keep the hand free. Johnny Ryberg back inside. And Ryberg knows he has to get as close to the poles as he can. Thank you. Dots down that ball, sets up this conversion attempt. The Pizza conversion put the Raptors back in front with three minutes left. 44-43 the score. Down by one. Pizza, the 23-year-old from Kruenstadt, South Africa. Top point scorer for Glendale this season. But this two scrapes in on the inside. The Raptors added an exclamation point try as time expired. And they still have a chance. Well, we thought last week was the game of the year between the Glendale Raptors and Nola Gold. It ended 34-33 in favor of Glendale. And right now, 45-44.
They want to turn this over. Glendale have their sell over it. It's available from the Nason Malifa over the top. Holly Davidson! He drives it in. It's Glendale. All over this. And they're a big hit here at Infinity Park. The Raptor Machine is back. Watch this number play. Keep your eye on 21. Picked up at the back by Nieto. Carlos gets to his feet so quickly, steals that ball. Is there before any Saber Cats? And again, the little heads up play. What a clever play by the veteran out of Malifa. Over the top, all alone is Harley Davidson to dot down the finish. Unbelievable comeback. To Glendale as the crowd hushes, respecting the kick up. support the home team. The Glendale Raptors win their fifth match of the season. They keep themselves inside the top four places on the standings with that bonus point victory. And what a game we've witnessed. Coach Dave Williams joined us in commentary after the phenomenal come from behind victory. Uh, what communication did you have to your side to get your team back in? Because really at scrum time it was, it was a trouble. Uh, yeah, it was. Um, but I think if we've got six world processes, like everybody says that, but it's we got to buy in. Like Pete Lays is a great scrum coach. He tells the boys exactly what they need to do. Obviously, you know, Houston have got a good pack. You know, Fitzy, that's what he's made his money, you know, in the front row. So he, he prides himself on that. Obviously, they beat us to that in the first half and probably, you know, all the way to that last scrum. So well done to them. You know, when we sped the game up, when we kept to our pattern, we kept to our shape, you know, we just ran through them and ran around them. And Dave, we talked about this before. It's, there's never an off week in the MLR. It seems like every game is just a nail biter. You've got to be really happy about the way your team played and especially the MLR. Well, it was happening uh, in the second half, uh, Viz, but it wasn't <laughs> happening in the first half. Um, but I think it just goes back to the basics for our lads. Like, if we bring energy, we produce energy onto the ball, and we keep the ball, we go through our phases, like not many teams can live with us. But we've got to shore up our little basic areas, whether it's a, you know, the, the distribution from the line out down to our nines, and we can get into our pattern. You know, we've got to look at a lot of things like that and just get the details right. And once we get that right, then you can see we score 40 odd points in the second half. Well, congratulations. I, I think you'd like a more comfortable win next time, but congratulations on a great comeback. Right. Thanks, Viz. Next up in the booth was Raptor of the Match and Major League Rugby's leading try scorer, Johnny Ryberg. At 32 to nothing, what was going through your mind before you sparked those two tries? You know, obviously that's not ideal. That's not the team we are and how we want to play, but you know, it's good to get those two quick tries before we go, went into the sheds. And then, you know, if we just stick to our pattern, you know, if we came out, talked at halftime and we came out with a fire and that's what we did and the result speaks for itself. Hey John, you had to go in that locker room knowing that Knowing they had the yellow card, you had the first 10 minutes with a power play. I mean, you've got to take advantage of that, and you did just that. Yeah, exactly. That's what we wanted to do. We had the yellow card. We wanted to put the pressure on, and what, two quick tries in uh, three, four minutes? Well, talk us through the screen here. You're on the left end there, setting things up. What's happening? You know, Big Murph got the ball in space, and I knew he's not going to go down easy. I'm just from pulling my support line. Got it. Didn't have much left in my legs, but I was enough to hobble in. So. <laughs> Well, Johnny, I know a lot of people are asking you, how much do you actually bench? Because uh, I've set a house, well, he, I've set a car. To know. How much? Because these, these you can't buy anyway. Now nah, they're all they're all for show. I don't bench that much, but <laughs> Davey has a good weight program for us, and he keeps uh, us. And tell me about this. Tell me about the uh, the season coming up. Obviously, a very strong game coming up next week as well, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, we have a bye week, so we need a yeah. rest. Get the yeah. get the bodies rested and then come back. Go to an that was a important week. That was a trick question for you, Ryberg. You passed. Oh, Thank no, you very no, much. No, Congratulations no, to our after no, of the no, match, Johnny Ryberg.